Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most exciting and controversial topics in the cricket world, Bazball. What is Bazball? How did it start? And why is it so effective? If you want to find out, keep watching this video till the end. Bazball is an informal term coined by ESPN Crisinfo UK editor Andrew Miller during the 2022 English cricket season, referring to the style of play of the England cricket team in test matches. It was developed after the appointments of Brendan McCullum, whose nickname is Baz as test head coach and Ben Stokes as test captain by English cricket managing director Rob Key in May 2022. The Bazball style and mindset is said to have an emphasis on taking positive decisions in attack and defense, whether batting or in the field. Many of these skills and strategies were developed in playing one-day international and 2020 matches. Since the inception of the style until June 2023, England averaged a run rate of 465 per over, significantly higher than the next highest in test match history. A faster scoring rate has allowed the team to declare their innings earlier and seek a result where ordinarily a draw would occur. Fazball was inspired by McCullum's aggressive stroke play and captaincy as a player for New Zealand. He managed to upend the Black Caps' traditional conservative approach and underdog mindset. McCullum's tenure as England's coach coincided with a turnaround in the fortunes of the England Test cricket team. The side had won only one test match in the 17 played before the hiring of Stokes and McCullum, with previous captain Joe Root emotionally shattered after leading a struggling side through two difficult years, which included multiple tours with testing COVID and forced restrictions. With no dramatic change to the players selected, England against all odds experienced success. Their bowlers rose to the challenge, taking 20 wickets in six of the seven test matches, while their batsmen scored at unprecedented pace. England won six of their seven tests, this summer their second most in a single season anywhere in the world. Only once in 24 had they won more, and in the time since they had not even matched six wins, let alone bettered it. Basball has not only brought success, but also revitalized interest in test cricket, drawing crowds back to the stadiums. However, the true test of Bazball lies in its ability to adapt to the turning pitches of the subcontinent, a stark contrast to the seeming conditions of England. Indian spinners Ravichandran Ashwin and Ravindra Jaja pose a significant threat, and England's batters will need more than quick reflexes to counter their guile. The absence of Harry Brook, a promising talent born in the Bazball era, further complicates England's challenge. India's strategy, though less flamboyant than England's, is equally effective. Under Rohit Sharma's captaincy, the team is focused on winning rather than adhering to a specific style of play. This pragmatic approach has proven successful, as evident from their impressive home record. India have not lost a series at home in a decade, boasting an impressive 16 consecutive series victories, with seven of them being clean sweeps. Their remarkable record of 36 wins out of 46 tests during this period underscores their dominance in familiar conditions. A victory margin of four in the upcoming series would mark a historic milestone for India, surpassing the number of test victories over defeats in their cricketing history. So, who will prevail in the battle of spinball vs basball? Will England's fire with the bat be enough to overcome India's trial with spin? Will India's unbeatable home dominance be challenged by England's fearless and attacking brand of cricket? The answers to these questions will be revealed in the highly anticipated five test series between India and England, starting from Thursday, 25 January 2024 in Hyderabad. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Bazball. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I post videos every week on various topics related to cricket, so stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.